Hi everyone, welcome back. Happy October. I'm super excited that it's now fall time. Um, but I wanted to take a few minutes to let you know about my favorite products for the month of September. Um, so let's get started. The first one is by Downey and it's called Unstoppables. This is a strange one, but it relates to your clothes, so I figure it works. Um, what they are is these little pellets that you drop in the washer so when you fill your um, clothes washer with water and your detergent you put a few of these in you can put as much as you want and it looks kind of like that gel potpourri can you see that it's just really tiny tiny like little balls they feel like like little soaps and what they do is they scent your clothes and the thing I've noticed is they scent my clothes a little bit better than um, a dryer sheet does um, it's just like a lasting smell it's really nice like these I can smell it throughout the day on my clothes so I really like that and you can use as much as you want um, I got this scent called um, lush and um, this was like maybe six dollars and this was even at Walmart and I thought that was a little pricey so if you can come across a coupon for these that would be even better but um, I love them and I can put them on the clothes I use when I go to the gym. Like, you know, if you have a, like I have Nike dry fit t-shirts, <clears throat> I can use this. And it smells so nice when I'm going for a run or at the gym because it's just like a little burst of scent every so often. And it's like, ah, you know how like when you get in your bed and you get a, a scent of that fabric softener all of a sudden, it's just a nice cozy feeling. So I really like this a lot. That's my first favorite. Um, my second favorite, and I think, I guess I'll just do my kind of cleaning stuff first and then go into the makeup and fashion stuff. My next favorite is from Bath and Body Works, and it is the um, Sour Apple Candy um, Antibacterial um, Foaming Soap. Um, it's for Halloween, of course, and it has this cute little skeleton. Halloween's my favorite holiday. And um, it glows in the dark, so if you're in your bathroom for a while and turn the light off, um, you can see the little guy here. And it smells exactly like a Jolly Rancher. The apple flavored ones, mmm, yeah. So that's why I like this. Um, I think Bath and Byworks has a lot of their Halloween stuff on sale right now. So I'll probably get a few more of these and just save them for next year. It's just, um, it doesn't smell like their, I think it's Country Apple. It doesn't smell like that at all. This is a different scent altogether. Um, so that is my next favorite. And, you know, I just started using this. Well, actually, hmm. I put this in my bathroom in October. So I guess it's a September-October favorite. So that's the next one. Um, followed by another Bath & Body Works favorite. This is the... Um, the pocket back, they're little antibacterial soaps. I keep these on everything. I have these little like rubber things. I have it like on my um, brush belt. I have them on both sets of my keys. I keep one in my makeup bag. I have these everywhere. And this one is for Halloween as well, but I've been using it for a while. The scent is called Gumball and it has little bats and these guys glow in the dark as well, which I liked. And I like this one because it smells exactly like a gumball does. I, I For some reason, I really like the way anything um, that smells like a gumball, I love that smell, the gumballs. So it, does, <clears throat> so it doesn't smell like alcohol at all. It just smells like a gumball. Um, and it kind of just reminds me of being a kid, you know, bazooka joe, gum, that kind of thing. So I think that's why I like it. And right now, these, I know these are on sale at Bath & Body Works. I think it's like 5 for $8. No, 8 for $5, I think. But um, they're $1.50 a piece, unless you have a coupon or something. So that is my next favorite, the Gumball Pocket Bag. Um, my next favorite is the Neutrogena, the oil-free acne wash, um, the grapefruit scent. This one is... Um, well, it's a salicylic acne treatment, but I think this one is actually stronger than the other Neutrogena wash, you know, just the orange one with the salicylic acid in it. Um, it says it has microclear technology. I have no idea what that is, 
but from what I've read, like this is a stronger formula than the RNG Neutrogena face wash for acne prone skin. And um, it has grapefruit and vitamin C and it's meant to clear blemishes and blackheads and eliminate oil and dirt without over drying. Um, when I was seeing a dermatologist in my teens, the first question they asked me is if I had tried using Neutrogena first. Usually if you have really bad acne prone skin, um, before they put you on anything, of course they're going to ask, well, what are you using? And if you aren't using like Neutrogena, that, this was the first thing suggested for me, but I was already using it. Now that my skin has kind of balanced out as I've gotten older, um, this is a good you know, really inexpensive choice for me because it's like $6. And if you have a coupon, coupons are so great. But if you have a coupon, you can get it for cheaper than $6. And I really like this grapefruit smell. And again, using this with my Clarisonic. Um, my skin's been in really, really good shape. And um, so this is a favorite. I go between this or, I'm sorry, Neutrogena brand and Clinique. Um, I still use that Neutrogena um, Naturals the makeup removing um, face wash and I still really love that a lot because it gets everything off and especially with the Clarisonic my skin looks so good um, so this is my next favorite for its smell and because it works well I will say this though my skin feels a bit tighter after I use it than it did with regular Neutrogena washes um, so of course you know you have to tone to bring that pH balance back to in your skin and then moisturize. Um, but I really, really am enjoying using this. And it was Allure's, um, a Reader's Choice in 2009. And, um, you know, looking back on Allure's Reader Choice, there's a lot of really good suggestions. And the same for their October Beauty issue. Um, it's pretty reliable. So um, I'm really, really enjoying this. My next favorite, I only have one nail polish favorite this month, and it is the OPI Nail Lacquer, and this one is called Pink Shatter. So it is a crackle polish, and I thought I was completely over crackles because um, I had been using them so many months ago, and you know, I was just ready for something else. And this one um, is called the Pink of Hearts 2011. So this is for their, um, their breast cancer um, awareness. So this, when you purchase this, some of the proceeds go towards um, breast cancer research, that sort of thing. Um, and of course, because it was pink, I had to try it. So with this, um, I liked it because it's more opaque than most of the OPI crackle shatter polishes, like the blue in particular and the red. They just look like poo poo. It looks like you didn't finish doing your nails. This one, it's like visible that it's a crackle. It's as good as the black shatter is, which is why I like this. And, um, you know, for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is October, um, you know, you should wear some pink, you know, show your support whatever way you choose. And this is one of the ways I choose to do that. <clears throat> um, my next favorite is the L'Oreal Le Gloss, and this one is called Baby Blossom. Um, for five bucks, this is a really good gloss. It's not too sticky. Um, it has a cake scent to it, like cake frosting sort of thing. And this color is like a nice baby pink. I thought it might be a nice alternative to NARS Turkish Delight. It's a little bit more opaque than that color, but it's still very nice. And, um, you know, it's a squeeze tip applicator, but the thing is, is with this, I still find myself like, rubbing a finger across it to smooth it out. It can get a little splotchy, but it's an easy fix with a brush or your finger. And it's less than $6. And again, another item, if you have a coupon, it's even better. Um, next up, it is the MAC Dark Diversion Fluid Line. And it's like um, a deep grape. I have it on right now under my waterline. It's a purple that's like burgundy black and eggplant and I had tried Max Macroviolet fluid line years ago and hated it because it you didn't get any opaqueness it was like splotchy you were trying to build a line and with this I don't have that problem maybe it's even aubergine 
But um, so that is another favorite. And of course it stays on really well as fluid lines are known to do. And um, I really like the color. There's very little shimmer to it. And this is perfect, perfect, perfect for fall. Um, let's see what else. So in September was my family reunion and there's tons of little kids in my family. And I volunteered to face paint this year. I've never face painted before. Like, I can do makeup, but it's completely different to think about doing a flower, a heart, lettering, a lion, a fairy. I mean, it really, really pushed me. And um, I had picked up a Makeup Forever palette, flash palette, and just really hadn't used it or dug into it much. And this thing is so great. It's 12 colors, and I mixed them a lot and it did everything I needed to do and it is so smooth. This is expensive. If you don't have a makeup artist discount, it's about $95, but it's so great. Like my little sister, she's done face painting before and she said this is just really nice compared to face painting kits because the colors blend really well. They're very smooth. Um, it was really easy to sanitize these. Just, you know, take a little bit of, um, like rubbing alcohol, put it on a tissue, rub on top. But you get these, I mean, all these colors, like a silver, a gold, your base colors, some lighter colors, they mix really well, they applied really well, and they stayed on really well. Um, I have a feeling I'll be using this more for October, for Halloween, but it was absolutely perfect. And, you know, even if you just want to get into, you know, just drawing and doing designs and stuff, it's really great because you have everything you need right there. And my very final favorite is my Missoni for Target Infinity Scarf. Um, I was one of those crazy girls who was at Target on September the 8th at 8 a.m. It was on my phone calendar. I'd known about it for months. I was excited. I was ready. I was like, this is going to be big. I went to buy Target. They weren't ready. They were still pulling stuff out. I had to ask where everything was. Nothing was out. It was really bad. Luckily, I was in an area where there were two other women who were clearly looking for the Missoni stuff. Um, one of my girlfriends, she went to a different Target in a very wealthy area, and it was chaos. Like, people were taking their arms and just pulling a whole rack of stuff down into their cart. Or, you know, my sister, I called her and said, will you check your Target and look for the Missoni luggage? I really wanted some chic luggage that matched. And one woman came in and bought every single piece. I was so disappointed in Target because they didn't handle it well. Maybe they didn't expect people to be excited, but it's such a nice collection. I got this, some tights, a pair of the flats, a couple other things. But what I like about this is you can, you know, you can double it up a few ways. And it's super long. The colors are nice if you're wearing just basics to put on top. As you can see, it's very, very, very long scarf. And it's really well made. It's um, knitted. Can you see that? And this is one of the chevron prints. And let's see. I don't know what this fabric is. Acrylic wool rayon other fibers. Um, for $30, I'm really happy. I love scarves, and I've gotten a couple wears out of it for September. And now that it's gotten cold, it's been like 50 degrees here, I'm going to wear it a lot more. But I just love that, I mean, I love to wear this with like sapphire blue, with a blazer, and some nice ballet flats. And I, it looks put together. It's just a little different. It's a known print. Not everyone has it. And if you're still looking for Missoni stuff, keep going back to your Target. Um, I think people were crazy when they bought stuff, and now they're starting to to snap back to reality and take stuff back. Um, my Target has a very small section of things, like a few bedding things. I really wanted one of those blankets. Couldn't find one of those. Um, the rain boots, you know, you just gotta keep an eye out. It could be anywhere within the store. But this was my favorite purchase of everything that I wanted from Missoni for Target, and it was $30. So hopefully some of you out there have snagged one or you found one. And yeah, that's it. So that's my favorites for the month of September. 
Um, of course, I want to know what your favorites are, what you're loving, have you tried anything I tried, did you like it, did you love it, did you hate it, that kind of thing. So, you know, respond below, talk to me, like, what's going on, what do you like, I want to know. And um, thank you so much for watching, and um, I'll see you again soon. Happy October. Thanks, guys. Bye.